one of the tendencies when dealing with narcissistic abuse is to want to make the the person who has who has hurt you to want to make them feel accountable and so this is very natural to to want to really hold it up for them to see you know with all of our pain all of our emotions you did this you did this to me you hurt me this much hoping hoping that if we did that that they would have a moment of self-reflection that they would have a moment of looking within and and saying to themselves something like wow i'm i'm a horrible person or or whatever it is that that we would want them to feel in order for us to feel repaired and healed but here's the thing with narcissists there's no one there there's nobody in there to to that that has a conscience who is going to be able to feel empathy remorse there's nobody in there who's going to take accountability and I believe this is one of the hardest and most painful lessons that we have to learn when dealing with a narcissist is that we have to realize I'm not going to get the validation or the repair or the apology that I believe I deserve. I'm not going to get it from them because they're not capable of giving it to me. For them to face how they've hurt me would be too devastating for them because they're living with their own ideas in their mind that, that they're perfect, they're flawless. Nothing is ever their fault. To a narcissist, nothing, nothing, nothing is ever a narcissist's fault in a narcissist's own mind. And so they're not gonna go there. They don't care how much they've hurt us. They don't care that if our very lives, if our very lives depended on them taking accountability and apologizing and repenting and displaying a show of remorse, if that would be what would keep us out of the grave, they would not do it. Not because necessarily they're the most, you know, hideous, murderous monsters on the planet. It wouldn't be that. It would be because they're just so freaking wounded that they're not capable of it. They can't show remorse. They don't even know how, how, where to even begin. And usually by the time you met the narcissist, they had already lost their connection to their true self so, 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 so long ago. We're talking most likely way back, way back in childhood when they were very little. That was where the original wound was sown that left them essentially crippled as a human on an emotional level. So when you come along 10, 20, 30, 40 years later and are trying to invite out of them or even provoke out of them some kind of reaction of remorse or sympathy or regrets, anything that would indicate that they have some kind of emotional intelligence, genuine, real, human emotional intelligence because they do know how to fake it they've learned some ways to fake having emotions but we're talking about real remorse that can potentially be the seed of creating a healthy relationship with someone they're not going to be able to give that to you and when you go asking for it they're going to further abuse you they're going to say to you, you just need to let this go. Oh my gosh, why are you still holding on to this? I can't believe you. It'll always be your fault. And so you're already wounded by them. And then when you go seek a healing from them, you end up further wounded by them. And this is the, the death spin, the downward spiral that empathic, codependent, 
sensitive type of people get into with a narcissist. If you are that type of person, your healing only begins when you accept that you're not going to get from that narcissist the validation, the recognition, the apology, the, the care, the respect that you deserve. And when you can fully accept it and just own it, I am not going to get that from this person in this life. That is the doorway to freedom. That is where true healing can start to take place. Your relationship with that narcissist is never going to be great. How, how, how could you ever have a great relationship with someone who is not capable of accountability, not capable of showing empathy, not, cap not, not even someone with a conscience for all intents and purposes? How could you ever expect to have a good relationship with someone like that? Of course, you can't. There's limitations to it. It's literally a disability. When people are physically disabled, we can spot it right away. When people are mentally disabled, we can pretty much spot it right away. When people are emotionally disabled, it takes time to realize that. We gotta really typically suffer in that person's presence to some extent before we can snap out of it and realize, okay, I'm dealing with someone who is extremely emotionally wounded, who does not know how, they literally don't know how. They might actually do it if they knew how, but they don't even know how to begin to take ownership and accountability of how to heal that emotional disability that they've been carrying for almost certainly the majority of their lives. So I'll leave it there. Ultimately, the responsibility lies on the empath, or if you wanna call it the victim, the victim of narcissistic abuse. If you've been in a, in a relationship with someone who was a narcissist and who was abusing you, the really, really tough pill to swallow is, is the recognition that in some ways, in some ways, you were abusing yourself. You were abusing yourself by constantly expecting to get something from someone who is incapable of giving it to you. So we gotta walk away, right? We gotta walk away and take full radical ownership and responsibility of what we got ourselves into. Not that we did anything wrong, not that we're to blame, just oops, that happened. Oops, that happened. And now it's up to me to do what I need to do to heal myself from it. And that's where, that's where the real healing begins, when we can get our lives back from these people who, who seem to have treated us really badly. So I'll leave it there. God bless you on your journey. And just remember, you gotta just let it go. We can't, we can't get what we need from those people. So hopefully we can find others who are able to love us and help us repair the, the wounds that we've incurred by essentially by opening our hearts to the wrong person. All right, have a beautiful day, y'all. Take care.